old school uh, foot threading. And selection at the same time. A bit of trinkadera. With the indigenous varieties from the Alentejo. And where's it going to go? It's going to go into one of those uh, packages. I do this since I'm in six or seven. It's not new for me. What's the key? You cannot be too tall, that to be below that, so you can really smash them. You can take your foot out and in again. That's very important so that you have maximize of contact and uh, enjoy it. <laughs> Normally, you have three or four people with you and you go in front and behind and in front and behind so that you don't miss the spot, understand? That's very important, so that it's not random. And you are supposed to take your, out, your feet out and in. Explain the setup here, what we oh, do. Alright. Alright. <laughs> it's quite simple. This was, was food trade yesterday. Okay. The old technique way. And they tried to extract the most they can. And the reason was quite simple. When they removed the solid phase from the fermentation on the clays, they were able to have more room for the liquid phase, so for the wine in the end. It was an um, economical point of view reason, okay? So they wanted to have the most wine as possible inside of the clays because the number of clay jars they had was limited. In the end, the wines will be lighter, but very fresh, very precise, and uh, actually, uh, the way we see to it today, they are very nice wines. Open, fresh, and vibrant. And so this is going to go from here into the press. <laughs> yes. We will try to do that now. And then into the Italia. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those guns. Yeah. Oh, those guns. <laughs> 